Good afternoon everyone, it's a girl Annie. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. If you are new here and thrifting content is your jam, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel because I really think you're going to like it here. Now, I have not been thrifting in like two and a half weeks, which is very unlike me and what we do here on my channel. But since getting the office completed and the video out and another project that I have started on, I just really haven't had time to go thrifting, but I'm getting a little itch to go out there and just see what's in stores. So I figured I would make this video a little bit more casual. Over the next couple days, we're gonna hit up a couple of thrift stores. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I kind of just really wanna go to the stores to see what there is. If there's anything that I need, sure. If not, that's okay. I just wanna get out and just, just go see what's out there. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's go ahead and go thrifting. Whenever I go to Goodwill, I always start with looking at the furniture. They were loaded today, but um, just with nothing that really fit my style, nor what would actually fit in my home. So, you know, a couple of good pieces, kind of like these chairs, but nothing that like really screamed my attention. And if anyone knows what this is, can you please let me know? The brass topper thing definitely caught my attention, but I just, I don't even know what it is. Okay, and I loved these candlestick wall sconces. That detail of the backing was really nice, but it was like a weird plastic material. Still pretty though. They had a ton of dishware and glassware as per usual and spotted some Pyrex, little muggies. I'm kicking myself that I didn't get this lamp. It was only $8 and absolutely adorable and I'm a sucker for this little pole thing here. Ugh, I'm gonna go back and see if it's still there. These little stools were really nice. Um, it's nice that they had the pair. You can use these for the end of a bed or, you know, some seating. They would just need to be reupholstered. This big piece right here was actually in like really good condition and I think it was only like $130, so not bad. And I had my hubby with me. I thought this might work as a display case that I'm looking for for my office, but it will not. Someone decided to donate their little mid-century dining set and Goodwill is starting to catch on because it was $100. This was a very unique piece. It looks hand-woven. It was only $5. I should have gotten it for resale purposes. And this mug, it looked handmade, apparently it's not, but $1.49, that's odd for Goodwill. Usually it's 99 cents or $1.99, so I'm like, what is this price? What are we doing? We're doing new things at the Goodwill. More little Pyrex mugs in a set. These are really cute, the little handle's adorable. I spotted something that I really like, this little scalloped plate, like serving tray. It was $3.299 and it was half off. Again, just doing a little scan of what's on the shelves. This bowl was nice, it'd make like a nice fruit bowl. And I think this is transferware, is that what you call it? Really pretty. Love that color. And this shelf was empty. It's never this empty, guys. So that was unusual. A 
look at this cute little pot if it had the lid i would have gotten it i love that wooden handle it's in really good condition too looks like it's never been used and then this jar definitely caught my attention couldn't tell if there was anything in it or if it was like airtight seal but it was 7 dollars which is not a bad price because it was kind of heavy loved this um like amber yellow colored glass candlestick holder super pretty and again just doing a little pan of the shelves this was actually handmade and very very pretty it looks like it says walter walter you did a great job 350 that's not bad for a nice little handmade piece and these y'all i saw them and ran do you see that? $2.99 per item. Okay, y'all, so when I mentioned I had a project I was working on, and I was gonna show you, this is it. And then we've got some down here, and little side pieces right there. So, I'm going to put on the screen a picture of a bed frame that I was like this close to buying. And then when I got to like the whole end checkout with the item and the shipping price, I was like, <laughs> like I felt physically ill. So I decided against it, decided against it. But lo and behold, Facebook Marketplace is always coming in clutch. I found this bed frame for um, like a 12th of the price. And it was along the same look that I was going for, obviously. Like you can see the similarity. The only thing with this bed frame is it's chunkier. Like I think the side profile, it's wider. I think the other one would have been slimmer. So even though they're both massive, I feel like this one may look larger in our room. Anyways, I'm rambling, but it was like a grayish, like a really cool undertone off white color. I don't know, it was a weird color and I just, I didn't want the, the one that I wanted was black. So I wanted to make this one black. So I've been taking my time, really making sure that I paint it very well. I'm gonna turn y'all around, so hold on. So I've been taking my time. I got this specific paint. It's called the Beyond paint, which you do not need to sand, prime, or seal. So I splurge on the paint. It was very expensive. And you can kind of see, like, it's very hard to work with because it comes out in like a pudding consistency. So rolling it, you can't brush brush it like normal brush strokes. You have to like stipple it. So this is two coats on everything. This is actually looking really, really good. I just need to go over it some spots like in the corners and then on the sides and then for the spindles, I need to flip it over. I honestly think it's gonna come out really, really pretty, especially when it's in the space and totally done with like the bed sheets and everything. But I'm gonna put a total up here of how much I saved between buying the other piece, had I bought it on the sale price, cause now it's more expensive, but if I were to buy it for the sale price and then how much this one has ended up costing me, cause I had to pay for it, pay for a U-Haul to go pick it up and buy the paint. But you'll see how much I saved, it's crazy. Alrighty everyone, we are back home. Y'all got an update on my little project that's been taking up a little bit of my time and now, it's time for the haul. I'm gonna let you know that you can probably guess what I picked up based on my voiceover during the thrift with me. And it's not a very big haul. I only got, well, technically it's like six or seven things, but one's a set, one's by itself. So let me go ahead and grab those really quickly and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So the first item that I got was this plate. I have several plates like this already. It's something about just the scalloped edge, the deep, ooh, no, that's a part of the bag. The detail on the edge, the crackling of the glaze. Absolutely love it. It was $2.99, so $3 and half off, so it was only $1.50. And then the next piece that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna overlay the clips that I took in the store so you can see all of the set that I got, but I did pick up that Mackenzie Childs set. Each piece was $3. These are gonna be going up in my Etsy store and on Facebook Marketplace for shipping. 
it's a resale pickup. Um, this is definitely not my style, but I'm pretty sure I've seen these. I think she's really known for her teapots, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but in, it's either one of the two or both of some very big Instagram ladies that I follow. I'm pretty sure it was in Remington Avenue. I think she has these. I'm not sure. But anyways, I recognized the pattern and then something about the name really just like struck a little like light bulb and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get those. So I did go ahead and pick up the entire set. Again, that is for resale purposes. I think it's gonna be a very good turnaround time, but also a good profit. It was a really small haul, but you know, sometimes it happens and I'm definitely excited about the things that I got. And that is going to be all for today's video. It was a little bit on the shorter side, definitely way more casual and laid back. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you think of my bed frame. I cannot believe I found such an incredible dupe for such a good price. I also forgot to mention that the bed frame that I originally wanted was from Anthropology, And I was very tempted to buy it when it was on sale because Anthropology like hardly ever runs sales maybe once or twice a year. So I was super tempted, but I'm glad I held out because um, as you can see, I saved a ton of money. So let me know what you guys thought about my little dupe down below. And of course, if you guys like today's video, the best way to let me know is to give it a like. I like to see it and so does YouTube. It's a very small gesture that helps my channel in a very big way. But more than that, if you guys are enjoying the content and you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me and it doesn't take a lot to give me a little click, but I will leave that up to you. And until the next one, bye guys.